And thus, we end 2017 with a bang, with a playlist of the worst creators collection games. Now, the video I did yesterday about the best games was a lot of fun. I took 10 hours of editing, you know, scripting and pre-production and all that. And, yeah, it was not suitable for most advertisers because YouTube decided to flag it. Uh, yeah, feels great when you're fairly rewarded, doesn't it? Now, talking about fairly rewarded, these games are similar to how I felt. You make an investment, and then you get absolutely destroyed by the outcome. <laughs> and to be quite frankly honest, it was impossible to number these. They were all really shit. <laughs> Only games of the XCC which I've played are eligible. So there probably are many more bad games. So if you've got any you'd like to mention, then leave them down below in the comments. And that said, if you don't make it to the end of this video, this is the last video of 2017. I hope you have a good new year. I'll be asking something at the end too, so if you're still here by then, well, well, let's just get on to our list first. Questions later. Do you want to play the simplest of games ever humanly made? No? Well, this game's for you. If you want to dip your toes into the world of tic-tac-toe in, in this game, you'll be very happy to know that you can't. Hey! Despite the tin saying tic-tac-toe, it should instead stay tic-tac menu. Uh. I know I did say stay then, but I actually meant say, say, stay, say. So have you ever tried saying tic-tac-toe with, oh, I don't know what I'm saying, but anyway. Tic-tac-toe, tic-tac menu. All you can do is enter into the menu with this bargain. Fortunately though, it's free. If you want to just look at the menu. <laughs> that being said, this section's a troll because it's actually fixed and I was playing it earlier. But I still feel this deserves to be on the list, so yeah. Do you love open worlds where you can only face one direction? Do you love worlds which only have a cave which you can't face and enter? Do you love games where all you do is annually work for no purpose? Why do I keep sounding like an infomercial? Well, the Skull Beta. Sorry to break your hearts, but unfortunately, I know you wanted to play it, but this game was actually pulled from the storefront entirely, completely evaporated into the void. I still feel with the creator's collection program there should be a little bit of moderation, checking if the game actually runs and works. Regardless of what's in the game, I mean, I do it for a pack of McVitie's digestives, you know, who wouldn't? Uh, chocolate ones, of course, not normal ones. Actually, I don't know, maybe normal ones. But anyway, this game was really, really shit and horrible. Just take a look at the video. The frame rate killed my soul, the open map killed my life, and the skull beta will truly go down in the history as the remnants of shit. <laughs> now we move on to the game that actually works intended, which is actually scary because they're utter... Moo! Moo moo! 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 <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Sorry, I just... <laughs> I just meant <clears throat> these games are utter garbage and I, you know, I couldn't say that without saying utter. So sorry. Moo! Alright. Now, to be honest, Rocket Girl probably would have avoided this list if it wasn't for the irresponsible pricing behind the game. That appeared where the fact is basically flappy birds with lots of flashing light distractions and, well, girls. This game has the complete makings of the trash which you used to find barely making it onto Steam when Greenlight was a thing, and every now and then these trashy games would make it causing everyone to complain. <sighs> but now everything's flooded. There's no resistance at all this day and age, meaning you can just pay a fee and slam it directly onto the stores without any resistance at all. Oh, how times change. All your bases are belong to us. Now this game is extremely bad. One of the worst things about it is the controls. It expects you to move a tank and aim on the same stick leaving me horrified when the enemy is around the corner. The maps are extremely bad and in level 4 you are actually spawn outside of the play area, thus being able to progress any further. This game really makes me cry. All the time. If the controllers were fixed and you were spawned in the right area, in the right place, this game probably would be a lot of fun, but in the end, it's just fucking frustrating. Tank world. What the fuck? Um. I'm stuck. Now, from looking at the name in the store ban, I was extremely excited to play this one. This game is extremely bad too. All you do is jump, take attrition damage, because the enemies have no animations and just it just leaves you feeling as dead as Gigeus is inside. I really do get my hopes up for the Chris collection section, but this left me feeling deflated and confused 
as to why I got my hopes up in the first place. But that's really the list though. There's been other games on the Critics Collection which could have made this list, but they've just been mediocre and not really anything truly bad. That being said, these are only some of the 28 games which I've played. I haven't delved deeper into the program yet. The amount of games released in a week means it's virtually impossible for me to keep up with two episodes per weekend. My question to you now is, do I just abandon the weekend thing and have the episodes uploaded as regularly as I can? Like the other videos? Or do I just keep sticking at two games per weekend? Perhaps I should make the entire weekend eight videos about XCC or something. I've got no clue. Let me know what you should, uh, what you'd like to see in the comments anyway. It would be a big, big help. Now, all that's left to say for 2017 is thanks for being a part of this awesome community. Whether you watch the streams, videos, or read reviews on the websites, I would like to thank you entirely for a wonderful year with us, The Hidden Levels. Now 2018 is going to be really excited with us publishing games and expanding a lot more on the horizon, but enough about us. I hope you have a wonderful 2018, and we all hope that your goals are obtained and achieved. Thanks for being with us, we couldn't do this without you. Let's make 2018 great again. Uh.